Hello I'm Bob and today we are going to learn about Newton's three laws of motion. With Legos. Okay, so we all know that the first law states that all objects in motion will stay in motion. Unless acted on by an outside force and vice versa. It is a complicated idea and it makes my head hurt. <laughs> Well, maybe it's not that complicated. But let's see some real life examples. So right now we are outside. Here is a friendly policeman that will help with our example. What's cracking? Not much, bro. So let's zoom out a bit. I want you to notice that I am not in motion. But the car is in motion. Wait, what? <laughs> Ow, oh, what? Owie. I am okay. Hold on. So anyways, as you saw, I was an object that was not in motion. I stayed motionless until I was acted on by an outside force. That outside force was the car, obviously. Now let's hope no one gets hit by a car again. Hey what are you doing? No no no. I can't believe you have done this. So now let's move on to Newton's second law. This law gives the equation that force equals mass times acceleration. Let's go outside again to demonstrate how this equation works. To the Batmobile, so here is a giant rubber band ball, it has mass, and so do I. Now if I try to push it, it is not going to go anywhere, because its mass is larger than mine. But if I get some of my buddies to help push the ball, it will accelerate, because our combined forces called net force are strong enough to push the ball's mass away from us. <laughs> Now onto the third and final law. Newton's third law states that forces always exist in pairs. Wait. Not those kind of pairs, I'm talking about groups. So, the main idea is that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Why does this block feel unstable? <laughs> the ground and I have equal forces on each other. I'm pushing down, and it's pushing up. Now if I put more force down onto the ground, I will be forced up and do a super jump. That was pretty cool, but let's go over here and show another example. I am going to punch this pole. Hiya. Well, that was lame, hold on, let me do a super duper insane flying punch. Yeah 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 yeah. Oof. Well, that was pretty lame too. But you saw that my force had an equal reaction to it, and it didn't make my hand any less broken. So I guess that concludes our lesson about Newton's three laws of motion. But nothing ends a scientific day better than watching the sunset. Here, let's watch the sun. Wow, it's so beautiful. Isn't that something? I even think it's burning my corneas. I want to get a closer look. No, I am falling. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. That's what I get for admiring nature. 